The United Nations says China's detention of Uyghurs and other Muslim groups in the northwest and Xinjiang region may constitute crimes against humanity. In a long-delayed report, the UN's Human Rights Office said there was credible evidence of torture, forced medical treatment and sexual violence in camps, which Beijing calls training centres. The report urged China to release all detainees and explain the whereabouts of the disappeared. The Chinese government opposed the release of the report and rejected the accusations as a Western-backed farce. Human rights groups have welcomed the findings as a powerful rebuttal to Beijing's long-standing denials of abuse. This report should be a wake-up call to the international community as to the reality of what is happening in Xinjiang. There is now ample evidence that the Chinese government is committing grave human rights abuses in Xinjiang, including crimes under international law. Correspondent Fabian Kretschmer joins us from Beijing. Fabian, this isn't the first report of its kind. Uh, what's different about this one, though? Well, many of the facts were already well documented before, but the UN report gives it a whole new level of authenticity and also urgency. Um, yeah, so I would say that um, the, the report is very strong because it's not only based on the um, witness of human rights victims, but it's also based largely on official data, government data. And that puts the um, Chinese government in a really uh, weak spot because they always uh, deny any wrongdoing um, but, um, and don't even agree on the facts. But if most of the information is provided by the government itself, uh, that doesn't really make a, a lot of sense. So really the, the pressure against, uh, uh, against Beijing is really increasing. We mentioned their potential crimes against humanity. Can you expand on that? Yeah, sure. So um, uh, the report says that um, there are really grave um, human rights violations and possibly uh, even crimes against humanity. That is basically one of the most severe possible accusations. Um, the report specifically mentions um, uh, forced labor in, in those um, uh, political re-education camps and it also mentions um, torture, physical torture and it refers also to the very drastically plunging uh, birth rates in some of the counties in Xinjiang and uh, uh, experts and researchers have attributed that to forced sterilizations. However, what the um, uh, report did not do, it did not answer the question whether what happened in uh, Xinjiang constitutes uh, genocide or cultural genocide or not. It doesn't really mention that question. Uh Based on the facts, uh, what you mentioned uh, about this evidence from uh, official documentation, what, what would you say about the um, reaction of Beijing's? Yeah, so in the first reaction, basically Beijing denied um, everything. It doesn't really um, deal with the criticism. It only says that this UN report is, uh, is stunned by uh, Western governments. And what will happen probably is um, that uh, the government here will um, r ramp up um, censorship. I don't think that the criticism will find its way into the um, Chinese public discourse. And also probably Xi Jinping, the state leader, will um, uh, ramp up um, the nationalism here. Because um, in six weeks, there's a historic party congress during which he will most likely uh, proclaim a third term in office. And during that time, um, yeah, uh, stability is key for the leadership here and they don't want to deal with any criticism or um, anything that uh, could cause instability in their eyes. So I think the nationalism will only get worse in the coming weeks. Fabian and um, probably let me just briefly add that sure. um, they will establish the narrative that um, uh, yeah, they will establish a narrative that basically the West is trying to um, limit China's rise and they will basically victimize themselves and don't want to deal with any criticism. Okay, Fabian Kretschmer in Beijing, thank you very much for the insight.